Hello, this is a breath meditation to help you. When you're going through the process, there's so many different emotions. There are triggers, you might ruminate. There is, you experience so many different levels. It's like being on a roller coaster. So one minute you're experiencing really big highs and the next minute you're crashing down. And notice how long that you're staying there the divorce process will take you to a deeper level and if you haven't fully recovered from the trauma of the relationship, it will overtake your emotions once again. It's important to recognise what you've experienced and it's more important to come out of this ready to step into your new life. So depending where you are in the process and only you will know will depend on your experience. Hello and welcome to The Divorce Sanctuary. My name's Elizabeth Goddard. On this channel, I talk about healing from emotional abuse and divorcing both emotionally and physically from the emotional abuser. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're returning, welcome back and thank you. And thank you so much for all my new subscribers over the last few weeks and months. It's amazing. Following this introduction is a breath meditation. And in my group, I talk about this all the time. I tell them that their best friends are grounding and breathing. So you might hear people say you're a sum of your own existence or you're in control of how people treat you. They might tell you to set good boundaries. But if you're still trapped in a trauma bond or you're experiencing symptoms of complex post-traumatic stress disorder, everything will trigger you. It's also really important to check the people who are surrounding you at this time. Do an audit on them. Who are they? What role are they playing? And if you have anyone who is really invested in you being stuck so that they can play a role of saving you, they're just keeping you there for their own benefit. You don't have to break friendships. You just need to be aware of who has your back and is your cheerleader. Who is sympathising with you and how you feel when you're with them or after you've left them. For example, you might be going through your day and you receive a phone call from them. How do they make you feel during that call? Do they keep you trapped in the relationship, reliving and experiencing the trauma? It might be helpful to go over and unpick what happened, but the focus needs to be one where you are actively trying to heal, not trying to pick at a scab that then becomes infected. Trauma bonds have you sliding backwards and forwards between knowing what happened and how wrong it was and slipping into believing it was all your fault and that you deserve what's happened to you. So in this meditation, we're, we're purely going to concentrate on calming down the nervous system, coming out of your head and into your body. The four Fs, fight, flight, form, freeze, are triggered when you're under threat, where your safety is threatened in some way. And you might not recognise it, but you have lived under constant threat. You are subconsciously managing every eventuality, treading on eggshells, making sure the monster wasn't awakened within, managing everyone around you and even yourself and what you said. You might have lived your life fawning, so you might have heard of fight and flight. These are stress responses where when you're faced with a dangerous situation, you make an instant decision. You stay and fight or you run and take flight. So our brains make this split decision by scanning the area and deciding if, it, if we can get away and safely or if we need to stay and fight. Adrenaline is released into the body. Fawning is a response used where one person perceives a threat and instead of running away, or fighting, they respond in a pleasing way. This technique is used to calm down and stall the threat from the attacker. Talking your way out of a situation or displaying exaggerated flattery or affection towards the abuser. Freeze is a response triggered when a person can't win. They can't fight, they can't take flight, they can't take, calm down the situation. Animals use freeze, they play dead. Your body freezes. Your mind is still working, but you can't move. Stress can be helpful. It helps us keep focus and stay alert, 
but when it's experienced over a long period of time, it's very harmful. It's really important to understand we are all a bunch of chemicals. And it's really important to understand this. When you start to drop down, you can start to ask what's happening. And in time, you'll start to learn why and what the trigger was. And you might even find yourself oh, saying, oh, this is my wound talking. What does it need? What can I do? Or it's a trigger. Where is it coming from? What have I missed? We're all a bunch of chemicals held together in our skin. If you think back to school and a science lesson, when chemicals are mixed together, there is a reaction and we are the same. You might have experienced this when you met someone for the first time, it caused a reaction within you. There might have been an instant attraction or an instant dislike. This is a chemical response. When you experience trauma, your stress hormones are triggered. There's a chemical reaction within your body. And when you're in or you're recovering from an emotionally abusive or toxic relationship, the way that you're feeling could be due to the chemicals raging around your body. Think of a teenager who can't communicate and their emotions are everywhere. And you're not quite sure when, you open, when they open their mouths who you're gonna get. Does that sound familiar to you? When I started my journey, a lot of people were talking about the addiction to dopamine, but my interest was the role that oxytocin played in these relationships. It's a bonding hormone. It helps us create trust. They say too much of a good thing can actually be bad for you, and it's true. Oxytocin works as a bonding hormone, reinforcing positive feelings, reminding us why we like these people, increasing our affection for them. This was a manufactured relationship. The bonding that took place was different from a normal, healthy relationship. And because of this, it moved too quickly through the stages. You might have seen red flags, but you were giddy with the chemical rushes. Researchers actually discovered that oxytocin is two-faced. It's responsible for strengthening stressful situations, experiencing triggers of fear and anxiety. So in this meditation, we're going to calm down the body when you're triggered and your mind goes into rumination, when you're going over and over what happened and you're finding the information and the facts that prove this was all your fault. So using this meditation will help you come out of your mind and be more focused in your body. You'll be in your body and from here, you can actually start to look at the evidence and realise that it might actually be gaslighting and that you're actually actively looking because you've been told constantly throughout the relationship, this was all your fault. So sitting comfortably, please don't do this if you're driving or operating machinery. You can lay down, ground yourself, and we're going to breathe in cycles. What's your favourite number? I use six, but you can pick any number you want. And how we're gonna do this is, you're going to breathe in and count. And what this actually does is, it brings your focus to a different part of your brain. It can't analyze from this point because it's focusing on carrying out a function, which is counting. And the breathing will help balance the chemicals and calm down the nervous system. So you take a breath in and you count your favorite number. You hold that your breath and count that number again. And then you breathe out and count that number. And you hold your breath and count the number. And we repeat. So for example, as I breathe in, I count one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I hold and I count one, two, three, four, five, six. And I hold and I count one, two, three, four, five, six. And I breathe out and I count one, two, three, four, five, six. And I repeat this over and over again. This meditation is going to be for 15 minutes. You can stay here as long as you want. If you can only manage a minute, if you only need a minute, that's fine. So sitting comfortably, breathe in and count, hold 
and count. Breathe out and count. Hold and count. Breathe in and count. Hold and count. Breathe out and count. Hold and count. Breathe in and count. Hold and count. Breathe out and count. Hold and count. Breathe in and count. Hold and count. Breathe out and count. Hold and count.
You can stay here as long as you want. When you're ready, wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Maybe have a stretch and open your eyes. You should start to feel a lot calmer, or you should have done during that breathing exercise. It's helping to balance the emotions, helping to calm everything down. And from this place, you can start to remember who they really were, who the abuser really was, and the damage that they did.
and you can start to realise this wasn't your fault. Sending you loads and loads and loads of love.